What's going on guys, it's Joe from Total Justice Gaming with another deck profile here for you. I want to take this time to thank you for watching this video. Please like these videos, subscribe to our channel, leave comments. We work hard to bring you buddy fight videos five days a week when possible. On top of that, we are very active in our YouTube community. We love talking to you guys, we listen to your feedback, we answer your questions the best we can. So please leave a comment. All right, on to the deck profile. Today we are looking at Ride Changers. Uh, this build has changed quite significantly. Uh, I have dubbed this deck my God Jinrai deck. If you don't know who that is, go watch Transformers Master Force. It's probably one of the best Transformers series you've seen since Beast Wars. Now, the reason why I'm calling this the God Jinrai deck is because Winning Maximum has a new form. This deck has taken out almost... All other forms of ride changers, save for winning maximum. This is now a uh, winning maximum focused deck. His new form is our buddy, so we will be going right into it. So this is winning maximum powered form. He is a 636, size 3, call cost is discard a ride changer and pay 2 gauge. Uh, counter ability, put this card from your field into your drop zone. If you do, put up to 2 cards winning maximum in from your deck into your hand and shuffle your deck. Then you may call ride change officer winning maximum from your hand uh, or ride by paying its ride cost. Uh, he has powered, uh, powered winning maximum, also has penetrate, and his ride is his same as his call cost. Pitch a ride changer and pay two gauge. So, uh, he is one of the only, he is, I believe, the only uh, robot mode ride changer that lets us ride him without having vehicle mode first. He is indispensable as he is a 636. He also has the counter speed of putting him from the field into the drop zone and grabbing uh, both vehicle mode and traditional uh, winning maximum. So if they blow him up, you can actually counter their item destruction spell, blow him up, and go get winning maximum and set up immediately for another attack. Or you can attack with him if you have the necessary gauge and the correct life total to transform. You can swing with him, get winning maximum, Swing with him, transform into uh, robot mode, and then swing twice more if you're at the proper life total. He sets up for a very, very damaging combo uh, sequence of just uh, jettisoning armor, going into vehicle mode, going back to soldier mode, and trying to swing for game. On top of that, he hits stats very easy, very nicely at a 636. He's got penetrate, so he can get through those walls that they set up. He just does a lot. Uh, the two gauge is okay. That's pretty much uh, run of the mill for ride changers. So we are going to be running four of him as he is the buddy. Next up, we are going to be looking at winning maximum soldier form. So soldier form is the robot modes. So he's a 636, just like his powered form. Uh, he cannot enter the field other than the act of ride change, uh, when in uh, the vehicle mode of ride change. If you have six life or less, when this card gets 2,000 power, 2,000 defense, and counterattack, so he sits at an 8 8 with counterattack. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, at the end of the battle that this card attacked, you have six life or less. Um, he gets double attack. So he's a double attack with 8-8, uh, eight, eight, uh, meaning he can bust down pretty much any barriers, save for Thura if they got the cleats, but we will I believe we have ways of sniping out the item. On top of that, uh, double attack with a crit of 3 is pretty nasty. Um, he's just all and on top, and furthermore, he's got counterattack, which is really important because anybody that comes up on him, uh, they're going to get destroyed in the in the process of battle because he's a big old boy. So we are running four of him. Next up, we're running four copies of Winning Maximum uh, Vehicle Mode. Just read him. So he is a 323. So he is just, you know, half of the strength of Soldier Mode. It's not too bad. Um, 
Counter, if you have six life or less, pay two gauge, put this in your drop zone. If you do, call or ride winning maximum soldier form from your hand. Uh, his ride, it, ride cost is just pay a gauge. So we can get this, pull this off very easily as uh, power form lets us go get him almost immediately. We get to call him. He can harass if they have an open center because he does have two crit. Uh, however, he does have an issue with taking out monsters as he is not at our baseline of five. Sitting at a three, but, you know, uh, we're there to try and burn life pretty quickly as this is one of the lower life uh, decks for effects. But we are running a metaphor of as this is a winning maximum center deck. So moving along, we are running... Ride, Change, Vice, Captain, uh, Quick Connect, Mark II. We're going to be running three copies of him. Take a copy of him. So this dude's a size zero. He's a 1-1-1. One, one, one. Uh, that's fine. Uh, Counter, you may pay a life and put this card from field in your drop zone. If you do, call a Ride Changer, one Ride change, one size one Ride Changer from your drop zone by paying his call, course, call cost or ride a size one Ride Changer. Drop to him by paying its ride cost. We can also ride this dude for a life. Um, so it's a life costed. We do want to try to burn our life to six pretty as quickly as possible in this deck. Uh, so riding him helps uh, make that happen. Uh, uh, he's really good. I see him as the buddy in a lot of decks. I just like powered form better. Again, I always find buddies to be subjective. Uh, I think the reason why they make him the buddy is because he mitigates his ride cost by paying the life and then you gain the life for the buddy call. Uh, he just lets us go get uh, winning maximum vehicle mode uh, from the drop zone and letting him go into the field immediately. Or being able to ride uh, vehicle mode winning maximum uh, just for blowing this dude up. So we're running him at a three of because he's utility. Uh, he's good utility. Uh, he lets us bring back our uh, Genrai if we need it. But uh, he's still utility, so I'm running him out of three of. Furthermore, we are running three copy of Ride Changer Scout, uh, Scouting Team Ze uh, Seekers. Again, they are another utility monster. They are size 1313, uh, so they are a little bit less useful in terms of attacking than winning maximum. Although now that I look at this picture, these guys look more like crew troopers than they do anything else. I don't know if that's coincidence. Um, so their ability is counter speed. Uh, you may pay a gauge if you do put this card from your hand or your field in the silver ride change monster item uh, on your field other than ride change scattering team seekers. Um, if this card is in the soul of a ride changer, that card gets uh, soul guard, which is really necessary. Then if you have six life or less, this card also gets plus one, uh, plus one crit. So we're going to try and wait to put this in either powered body to give him soul guard or in soldier mode to give him a crit of four with penetrate, which is really good. And on top of that, it gives him soul guard. So, uh... Not much to say on them. They're, again, much like uh, Quick Connect Mark II. They're a utility card. I'm only really running it at three. They can at best harass opponents opposing monsters uh, by helping us link attack into them if they're high enough defense. But uh, they're not really good for main board. I'm probably going to be keeping these guys in hand to use them uh, from the firm hand ability than I am the field ability. I just... They're utility. I see them as utility. Following that up, we got our own version of Spike in Archaic Weapon Pilot Bash. Uh, he is a 2 one one uh, He has the ability, he is also from the new set level of heroes. So he's a 2 one one uh, counter ability. If you have an item equipped, choose an item on your field and you may pay a life. If you do, put this card from your field or hand into the chosen card's soul. Uh, this item gives... Uh, if the item with this card in soul gets penetrate and soul guard. So if we put this in soldier mode, he gets double attack and penetrate. Uh, if 
On top of that, he's an 8-8 with Penetrate and Double Attack and Soul Guard. We uh, miraculously get both Seekers and Dash into the Soul. We will be looking at a Crit of 4 with Double Attack and Penetrate. Much like talking from the previous Ride Change uh, G Gundam video, which is Battle Poets, that's really scary. Uh, they have got to defend you twice or they lose, again, a good quarter of the life to almost all their life. Still, we're only running him out of two of because he's Ride Changer and Adventurer, and he's only really there just to put it, um, put it from your hand into the soul of winning maximum. Still, he is quite good. Moving right along, we are running three copies of Jackknife Kaiseron. Uh, this is our fin uh, impact monster for the deck. Uh, when this cast cost, he's a size 2, 8, 2, 5. Uh, put this on top of a monster in your field and pay 2 gauge. When this enters the field during your final phase, if it has a Neo Dragon or Brave Machine in its soul, uh, stand an item on your field, and for this turn, it can attack even during the final phase, and that card gets plus one crit. Uh, it's got move and soul guard. So this lets us restand winning maximum or uh, power form, giving it an additional crit. Uh, if you have it set up right, power form already has um, penetrate, so this essentially gives a double attack to mirror its uh, soldier mode. In soldier mode, um, hopefully you've got at least dash in the soul to give it penetrate, or seekers uh, to give it plus one crit and let it swing for a second time, or rather third time, excuse me. This is very easy to pull off. Uh, we can just set out uh, vehicle mode, we can set out seekers, we can set out connect mark 2 in anticipation for this uh, coming out. It's very easy to do. Um, so we're running this out of 3 of because it helps set up for another swing with our very uh, high credit heavy powered monster. I really do like this Kaiser on. I'm going to see if I can't fit it into more deck. Uh, this Jackknife Kaiser on. I'm going to see if I can't fit into more decks if I can find more of them. He is really putting it, uh, really puts in some work uh, with my two Break Machine decks. Moving into spells, we got quite a bit. Um, since we are playing the low life game, we have got a lot we got to look at. So we got uh, four copies of the Brave Machine variant of I've Seen Through Moves. This is our basic open center shield. Uh, we need it because we're going to be trying to sit at six life as much as possible. And we don't want to go down much further than that once we get there. So we're running for that. We're running three copies of Ride Change Headquarter Maintenance Dock. This is when a ride changer enters your field, you may pay a life if you do. Put gauge 2, this ability only activates once per turn. All ride changers on your field get plus 2,000 power, so this lets us hit numbers quite a uh, lot easier. Uh, this means we are able to smash through a Thora and any other uh, 9k or above monsters. Um, this only lets power body become uh, 8, but it matches winning uh, the soldier form, so we are running it. Uh, this lets us burn life and get to what we need very quickly by um, playing a ride changer. So we are, of course, running this out of 3 of. We're running Power Body because this time we can take full advantage of what Power Body can actually do. So if we're at 6 life or less, we can um, cast this for free. However, we're Ride Changers, so we actually do want to pay a life. So we can pay a gauge, pay a life. If we do, we can choose two things. Uh, this first ability, which actually does matter on this one, uh, all Ride Changers on your field cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. And for this turn, if you would be dealt damage, just reduce to zero. So this lets us give a uh, counter speed shield to um, effect destruction, any sort of effect destruction, be it monster effect or spell effects or uh, impact effect. The opponent just can't touch our ride changer board, which is absolutely necessary as we have a whole lot of cards in this meta which just like to sweep the board. Uh, I know from personal experience. Uh, I like the fact that we can take advantage. This also helps us uh, let us burn life to get to that six we need so much quicker. Uh, it's just a really good spell. It's even better in this deck. So we're running this out of three of. Following that, running three copies of Watch My Back. 
Gotta read this. Watch my back is pay a life and discard a card. Put the top top card of your deck into the gauge. Then look at the top five cards. Put up to two ride changers into your hand from among them and put the rest of the bottom of the deck in any order. You can guess what's my back thing. Since this is a uh, wait, winning maximum focus deck, this lets us help dig for the winning maximums that we need. Uh, this, lets us help, this lets us help get us both the Seekers and Dash uh, when we need it much quicker. We're running this out of three of. Uh, we have a lot of ways to dig in this deck already uh, because of Powered Body now. Uh, not the spell, but the actual monster powered body winning maximum. So this is just more dig, more surge. We definitely need it. Uh, for attacks, uh, high powered attacks, we're running three copies of Body of Steel. Uh, again, much like in Ride Changers, or excuse me, Battle Poets, this is going to help us stonewall when they attack into our Ride Changers. Winning Maximum and Power Body are already pretty beefy, but this buffs them up to a 6 for Power Body, um, an 8 for uh, Vehicle Mode if we are in the 6 life range, uh, a 13k defense with Counterattack. Uh, for our item version of winning max, any of our item versions of winning maximum, this and counterattack meaning they're going to stick around and swing back on the monster. Really, really good. Now we are running three copies of prep to okay to launch. Uh, prep to okay to launch. We do need in this deck as we are writing much more frequently. So I bumped this up to a three of that we can see it much more frequently than we would in Battle Poets. We're going to be swapping uh, between Power Body, Winning Maximum, Soldier Form, and Ride Form pretty frequently. Also, this lets us uh, just get two cards for Riding uh, Connect Mark 2. That'll help us uh, dig into the deck even further. So we're running this at three of because we will be blowing this up quite a bit. We're also running three copies of Call of the Super Machine. <clears throat> Pay gauge and search in your deck for Super Mach uh, Brave Machine. Uh, if you do, you can only do this, put it into your hands. This lets us go and search out any of the Brave Machines in the deck. So we can go search out any form of Winning Maximum, Quick Neck, Seekers. The only thing we really can't grab is Dash, because Dash is just a Ride Changer, not a Brave Machine. We can only even go get Kaiseron, uh, Jackknife Kaiseron, to set up for the kill. If they're not already dead from the amount of crit and uh, abilities we've stacked on Winning Maximum. So we're running this out of three of. Uh, hyper energy. We have a lot of ways to get gauge in this deck, like a lot. So we, but we do need gauge, not a whole, as much as we do in battle poets. Um, we really only need it for uh, powered body and just to pay uh, call costs or ride costs. And soldier form doesn't have a ride cost outside of uh, the ability of winning maximum uh, vehicle mode. So we're not star for gauge, but we can always use it. So we're just running two of this, and then finally we're running a single copy of I'll Be Troubled If You Forget. Uh, this is Pay Gauge, Pay a Life, uh, put two Ride Changer monsters from your drops under your hand. This is let's just uh, give us more recurrence, uh, burn, uh, more life burn to get us a six easier on our own, so we're running a single copy of that. Guys, this is our version of Ride Changer. It's now become entirely focused on um, uh, Winning Maximum, or as I call him, God Genre. Uh, I hope you guys like this deck. Please, again, like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, leave comments. I'm always open to feedback. I love talking to you guys. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Take it easy.